afternoon world from uh, sunny Colac. The sun's nice, but it's bloody cold down here. My rim's finally arrived. Now we've got to make sure it fits, so uh, roll the intro. Right, yeah, well, the rim's here. Uh, my first job is to, well, unpackage it. Then hopefully, my disc here will be the same size as that in it. Otherwise, I'm up to the next stage of, shit, I have to, have to do something else. So hopefully I've got the right Allen key to get these out. Let's get this uh, rim opened up. Rightio, let's uh, rip her open. Right, let's get this ripped open. And hopefully, there's some spaces. I'll have to match them against mine. Tubeless valves in there, that's good. And let's hope my disc fits on there. That's my first job. It's disc off, and it's fucking, I've got the same bolts and shit that fit. Otherwise, I'll be in shit again. So let's make sure I've got the right bolts. Yep, threads are the same. Wheel bearings look good. All right. I hope this disc fix fits. Then this doesn't fit. I'm in deep shit. Looks different. It looks different by a lot. I can tell already, this has got a smaller hub than that one. So obviously, now the disc isn't gonna fit, I don't reckon. And I'm probably, shoot, I've gotta check my axles and make sure they're the right size too. I don't know how this is all gonna go. Let's hope, fingers crossed. I'm, uh, I've got a win. All right, proof of, yep, I think we're different. Well, let's see. Oh, how lucky is that? Everything fits, beautiful. We're in business. Now the other thing is, will my disc. Well, I can get my caliper in the disc there. All right, get these on. Make sure they all line up. I'm nervous. I'm always nervous about the changeover of things. <coughs> Still dealing with this bloody cold. Right, that one's good. Renio. Stage one, complete. Probably should have been putting Loctite on these. I can always do that later. I've got to go down the street and uh, get the tyre fitted. Oh, it fits. It fits. That is a huge relief. I've got a bunch of space. Got a bunch of spaces here. So hopefully they'll all be the right ones as well. Next thing, have I got the right axle size? I should have. Am I supposed to have lined that hole up with something? Right, that's done. I've got no way of getting down the street to get my tyre fitted unless I carry it all the way down. Unless Shells gets home from work early enough, we get it into the bike shop. Radio. 
First thing I want to try and do, see if I can get the caliper in there. Oh yeah, caliper fits good. So the caliper fits nice and good. I hope it's uh, spaced out the right way. I might even put some new shoes in. The pads are definitely worn down a bit. I've got new pads there. Right go. Now can we come to the next stage? Does the axle and everything fit and wheel bearings? And if they're all good, Gotta get the tire, tires next. Right. Right, let's see how we fit. Try and do with that tire on. Right. Well, that space is no good. That one's no good. I hope I've got a bigger one. I could be up shit creek now with the spaces. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Oh dear. This is another problem about to develop. Much room there. Jesus. Oh yeah, okay. I think we're good. Oh that, that hooks into there, right. tape measure. I think she's a bit one-sided. So the axle's in, that's good, plenty of room. Looks like plenty of room there. Or do I have to go another space wider? I think I'm good. I think we are, I think we're good. I've got a couple of spaces here. My old spacer. And that's the drive, looks like the drive spacer. I think I'm good. Yep, I think we're good. I won't know until the brakes. All right, I think I can go and get this wheel fit, uh, tire fitted up ASAP and I can figure out the fine points later. So, right here, well, I might have to walk down to the bike shop and try and get this uh, wheel fitted and see how it goes. So, oh, mozzies. Right here, well, I'll get back to you, hopefully, with the tyre and the bike and ready to roll. So, right here, catch you later. Bye. Right here, well, got the tyre fitted. It's back. It's there. It's on. Now let's get it in the bike over there. So, um, and I've just realised, I think the old spaces are the right spaces. <laughs> Uh, instead of the ones Darren sent me, but uh, let's try and get in the bike and see how we go and make sure I can get everything fitted up. Um, I'm pretty sure that's my original spacer there. I'm pretty sure they came from Darren. I don't know 
Welsh one was my original one. There is a bit of, oh, they're about the same, rightio. Let's get it in there, see how we go. And then I just gotta hope all my brakes and everything work. Wheel looks centered. Yep. All right, let's get this on. Wrap a little bit. Hopefully it all goes together the way it should. Yeah, the bike shop here in Cold Lake dicked me around a little bit, but we gave them a little bit extra pressure and they got the job done, so all good at the end of the day. Right, half inch. Bolts up, because everything's in. Crack at the back. I've got to have, always have the crack at the back on these. I'll show you. So these Harley rims, Harley forks, you do your front one right up, and then just leave a bit of a crack at the back. <coughs> Still got this fucking cold. Done. Yep, speedo's still flickering. Right, do up this front wheel. Oops. Do up the front wheel. Nice and tight. I think these wheel bearings are alright. They'll have to be. Right here. Alright. Now he gets me brakes on. Oh, that's moving. Ah, oh, that's fucking right. That shouldn't be moving. That speedo cable should not be moving like that. What does that mean? Fuck. It's not the rim, is it? Is it? Oh, I might have the wrong spacer in. Mm. That's moving and it should be tight. And I've got it up bloody tight, so. That's tight. Fuck. Oh, oh shit, okay. Yeah, that's no fucking good. Oops, I think so. Okay. 
Shit. Yeah, okay. Bugger. All right, something's really not right. It's going to take me a while to figure this out now. On the other side. Yeah, there's a lot of movement there. Too much. Fuck. All right, take her out again. So the biggest one, same, not, not that one. That one's a little bit bigger. It's the biggest spacer I've got. It either works or it fucking doesn't. What can you do? going on here. And uh, what's going on here now? Speedo drive notch. There, ah, uh, see. Alright, that goes into there. That might help. I think we're good. Fuck, there's still a bit of movement there. There's a little bit of side play there. I don't know how much that actually fucking matters. I won't know until I ride it. Right, let's get these brakes done up. Fit up the new brakes. Now I want to change my pads. Yeah, that's not moving. That's good. That's where it should be. I think we're good. I hope so. I don't know when I get down the road and she starts wobbling all over the place. Right, that's that. Now, now I want to change my pads. Funny thing for this thing, I've only got two shims on one of the on, on one of these, and the other one had three. And I reckon when I had that dickhead Viv do my wheel the first time, he lost one of my shims, so. Uh, right now my pads. So Right, they go in there nice and easy, where they're supposed to. A lot easier than the old one to get in and out. So now I need to change me, need to change me brake pads. I have a tripod. I just got my camera sitting in uh, one of Shell's pot plants here. It's not the best. Oh, come on. Take the sew clip out. I don't need to get a new one. I know Rayman Ray doesn't like using old ones, but I don't have anything else. I 
Alright, that's that in. Almost. Now they're hitting the fucking rim. I can't get these pads in. Oh, there we go. Got them. Holy shit, I have, I've got it. Right, I've got them. Spaces, shims. Pretty sure I had three at the bottom, two at the top. And the... All right, so I've lost a bloody shim. I guess I'll find out how much it matters in a few minutes. Ah, found it. Found it. I'm pretty sure this one went at the top. That's on. Oh, that's tight. That's really tight. That's tight. What's the old sun? She'll ride up with wear. Probably should have had an, another shim in there. I think we're done. I think I've got the brakes done. New pads. New fat boy rim. Off the jack. Right, our world, that's done. Right, our world, looks a bit different with the big fat boy on there, fat boy rim. I'm gonna stick you up there for a minute. I'm gonna wheel the bike out, see how it feels. All right, let's give her a bit of a walkies. I'll clean up my mess. Oh, she's in gear. I think we're good. That's it, we're done. Right, our world's job done. Fat boy rim in. Change the new front bike pad. They'll ride up a bit of wear. I'll go for a ride around the street tomorrow and just uh, fill it all in and uh, see how I go with that front wheel. And uh, jack her up again later, make sure uh, it doesn't feel too loose or anything. But I know you have a little bit of, a little bit of movement there, but it'll, it's all taken up the brakes and everything now. So, right, our world's. <sighs> Thank you, Darren Cross. Uh, for sending that down. Um, he actually chucked in 30 bucks of his own money to express post it down to me. Took uh, three and a half, nearly four days to get here, but it's done now. Bikes, as far as I'm concerned, right at this moment, the bike is going, but I'll know more tomorrow. So, right our worlds, stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze, and we'll catch you later. Bye.